imagine entering a restaurant and discovering that there's no one to take your order or serve your food. How does that feel? Instead, there's robots handling every task, and the only human on premise is you. This might sound like something out of a Netflix Black Mirror episode, but the first fully automated McDonald's in the United States is real. Big Macs are now being served by robots at one of the McDonald's outlet in Texas. The first McDonald's restaurant that is primarily controlled by robots is now being tested in Fort Worth, Texas. It's amid a growing desire among the world's largest fast food chains to automate their operations. There's no cashiers, there's no one to take your order, and there's no one to bring you your food. Everything here is handled by a robot. Even the actual restaurant is smaller, and it lacks seats because it's intended to serve grab-and-go customers rather than sit-down diners. Once you enter, you'll be greeted by a robot that takes your order and then pushes your food through a conveyor belt to the designated pickup area. Customers will be able to place orders through the drive-thru, through the McDonald's app, or through the in-store touchscreen kiosk. Despite being highly sophisticated, the new McDonald's is not totally automated, according to a spokesman. Though there's still a little amount of client interaction with human staff members, there's still human workers employed at the restaurant. According to the spokesman, improved technology has been put in place to enable the restaurant personnel to begin preparing client orders when they're near the restaurant. This is perfect for customers who order through the McDonald's mobile app or for delivery couriers picking up orders. McDonald's noted in a statement that the restaurant contains innovative features, including the order ahead lane, where customers can receive their orders on a conveyor belt. The restaurant is the latest move in McDonald's, accelerating the Arch's growth strategy, which is concentrating on innovation to improve customer experiences. When you enter inside the test restaurant idea, you'll find it substantially smaller than a regular McDonald's restaurant. Why? The features inside and outside are tailored for clients who are planning to dine at home or on the go. Inside the restaurant, there's a delivery pickup room, enabling couriers to fetch orders fast and conveniently. In addition, there's kiosks where consumers can place their takeout orders, as well as a pickup shelf. There's multiple parking spots outside of the restaurant. These are intended for curbside order pickup, as well as parking spaces reserved for delivery vehicles. People who were unsure about the new technology's ethical implications have expressed their disagreements online. One user posted, well, there goes millions of jobs, and another said, honestly, if they go through with this, I'll just boycott McDonald's. Their food's mid at best anyway. Another commenter said, this will put so many people out of their job. I'm not for it. The automation operates similarly to a factory, not as you might see in movies or other media. Some people feel McDonald's did a great job during this first test. One TikToker went as far as to ask, who are all the Karens supposed to scream at now? The robots? Others, however, are excited about the idea of the brand new technology. After seeing the recently opened McDonald's, one Twitter user commented, I have a feeling the burgers and services will be a lot better. While another added, the future is here. The use of technology at this restaurant not only enables the crew to focus more on order accuracy and speed, which improves everyone's experience, but also enables guests to be served in novel and creative ways. The innovative idea is now only available at this single location, where it's being evaluated. According to the McDonald's team, their test and learn strategy for the store means they want to benefit restaurant staff and customers around the world in the future. According to McDonald's, the test location's objective is to provide customers with faster, more accurate service. The new automated location has the support of the firm, but many individuals are not McLovin' it. McDonald's employees and other minimum wage workers in Texas earn $9.87 per hour. Texas has a living wage of $16.41 per hour. The automation, according to many on social media, is a technique for fast food monopolies to avoid paying workers better salaries, a demand made by McDonald's employees for years. William Mellick, the director of the RoboHub at the University of Waterloo in Ontario, said the food supply chain is one of the most exciting new application areas of robots we're seeing today. Mellick confirmed that modern robotic technology has advanced to the point where it's displacing jobs. 
The robots in the food service sector have been developed to handle repetitive jobs and thrive in areas where a lack of labor is limiting supply chain production capacity. According to a 2021 Institute for Policy Studies analysis, McDonald's ranked among the 300 businesses with the lowest median worker earnings nationwide. Steve Easterbrook, the company's CEO, claims that McRobots won't be arriving at a McDonald's near you anytime soon. His remarks come two days after one of the fast food corporation's former US chief executives warned that a $15 minimum hourly salary might force McDonald's to replace its employees with robots. At the company's annual shareholders meeting, Easterbrook stated the job destruction at McDonald's is not expected to be a result of technology. When asked by one of the shareholders if the increased minimum wage would result in a transition to more automated services, he said, It's a topic of discussion right now. McDonald's operates in the service industry and will always have a strong human aspect, according to Easterbrook. We would automate some of the restaurant's non-value-added procedures if we could because it makes sense to do so. However, that then allows us more chances to move that labor back to the front of the house where we can provide a better dining experience," said Easterbrook. By the end of this year, McDonald's anticipates implementing table service at 400 of its locations in the UK. I don't think it possesses a threat to job loss. It might alter the types of jobs that are available in our restaurants. Easterbrook had earlier in the meeting stated that the approach at the heart of the business's turnaround plan was placing consumers back at the center of everything McDonald's does and adapting to customers rather than expecting them to adapt to the company. This next quote is taken from US Chief Ed Renzi, who spoke to Fox Business two days before the shareholders' annual meeting. It's cheaper to buy a $35,000 robotic arm than it is to hire an individual who is inefficient, making $15 an hour bagging french fries. Easterbrook didn't address the potential effects of a higher federal minimum wage, or the fight for $15 protests taking place outside the meeting. However, not everyone was thrilled with all the McDonald's updates. According to Albert, a 76-year-old McDonald's shareholder with Port Vision, the electronic menu board at his neighborhood restaurant is not user-friendly. He said that the menu was small and that it was difficult to distinguish between the prices and the calorie counts. Easterbrook has been the CEO of the company since January of last year and has successfully carried out a turnaround strategy. The established US outlets have reported increased sales over the last three quarters, restoring the burger chain decreasing sales. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one.